So what's your best bet to prevent chronic diseases and give your cells the quality nutrition and fuel that it needs to build healthy cells, to build more healthy cells and to perform at your most optimal performance as you possibly can? How can you improve your brain function? How can you improve your well-being and your, your energy and your feelings of vigor? Your hormonal health. How can you improve the health of your sexual drive, your motivation for life, your inspiration? How can you empower yourself, fuel your willpower? How can you reverse chronic diseases in an easy fashion? Well, first of all, we have to look at health through principles. The principle that I like to use towards finding the healthiest nutritional protocol, the, the healthiest diet in general, would be maximize benefit reduce damage okay so when it comes to health overall there are things that you consume there's molecules within every food you consume there are different macronutrients that uh, in certain ratios can become harmful there are um, overabundance of certain minerals and micronutrients there's deficiencies in min and minerals and vitamins. There are a lot of chemicals, um, just in general, and compounds, and just foods overall, and other things you put on your skin and etc. that all can possibly cause oxidative stress and damage, okay? Overall, it's impossible to completely remove all damaging, all damage from your body or your life completely. It's impossible and it would be extremely inconvenient and it would completely annihilate any reason for actually trying to be healthy in the first place okay how inconvenient would it be if you just lived in a fucking cave and like who knows where even in that place there's pollution there's um, chemicals and things in the air and whatnot and uh, there's other sets of problems like bugs and uh, pathogens and things that are more um, abundant in that area. Not to mention you are not going to have the beauty and convenience of modern civilization in a place like that. Not, and then beyond that, let's look at just if you were to choose to live in modern society um, in a modern city of some kind, and you wanted to eat super healthy and perfect all the time, right? You wanted to be 100% um, organic, completely raw, um, completely raw vegan, and only eat foods that you grew that you grew yourself. That's so impractical if you want a good social life, if you want to um, live your highest potential. I mean, you would essentially be isolating yourself, um, and you would potentially be causing even more issues for yourself. Um, a lot of people do experience issues on a protocol like that and it would just cause a lot of uh, mental stress emotional trauma now maybe there's some people out there that are able to do something like that but for the vast majority of people you're not going to even if that was ideal which it could be I'm not against things of that nature um, the vast majority of people are not going to want to do something like that most people don't really see the benefit of trying to be completely clean um, in that sense, right? Even if that if that is clean or if that is not clean, I'm just saying. Um, for the most part, how much of a difference are your choices going to make in the long run? I mean, if your goal is to live to 100, do you really think you need to go 100% completely raw, organic, vegan, homegrown from your own garden to live past 100? I mean... I don't think there's been a sanitarian that's lived past 100 that has mentioned that as being their secret to longevity. I remember seeing one woman who looked really, really young, even though I think she was wearing a lot of makeup and stuff, and she claimed that it was because she was raw vegan for like 10 or 20 years, and she looked great. 
Um, I mean, maybe eating completely perfect can cause that. I mean, maybe, but is it necessary? And so I'm not, I'm not trying to imply that it's pointless to, you know, eat healthy or to eat organic or to even be a vegan or a raw vegan. What I am saying is, what result are you looking for from this diet? And is it, do you have to go on a strict protocol to reach that result? For me, personally, my main goal in general, because it, it changes, I'm a bit wishy-washy, maybe because I'm a triple Gemini, um, if you believe in astrology. But my main goal is obviously to feel my highest and to perform at my highest, to optimize digestion, to have my brain working on the highest function it can, to have enough energy to work out multiple times during the day, to train my own clients and to produce amazing ideas for my channel on YouTube, to teach everybody every single day as best I can and to have as much fun with my friends and have as much excitement and happiness and clarity of thought and well-being, feelings of vitality and vigor every single day. And I've tried different diets and seen how they affect my life and um, a lot of what I see is that attachment to the thought of what you, what you think is supposed to be healthy, such as veganism or raw veganism, is not always the healthiest option. It might be for some people and it might be in general, but if you feel like shit, maybe it's time you rethink what it is you're doing. Beyond that, for not for everyone, okay, depending on your mindset and your approach, but for a lot of just general people, a lot of people, um, eating completely perfect is a whole life of stress and cortisol for them. Um, now, of course, it doesn't give you an excuse to go out and eat McDonald's or fast food. You want to find a middle ground, though. Okay, I see, because I, I, I see medical professionals like doctors and nurses getting a whole, whole bunch of junk food at the checkout line and then when I worked security at a hospital I remember seeing um, nurses going to the vending machine and getting like donuts and Cheetos and shit and Cokes and whatnot and I'm thinking you're a health professional yet you're not you're not being professional about your own health in your own life so why the fuck would anyone go to a to you for health advice and to make them healthier um, and I realize it's because, I mean, a lot of people, everyone that's, that I ask says it's because it's a hectic lifestyle. For a hectic lifestyle type person like that, you don't have to eat junk food. There's better options. Okay? Think, but thinking, thinking, thinking you have to be perfect is catastrophic because then you're like, well, it's either I eat perfect or I just eat, or I don't eat anything at all, or I eat perfect or it just doesn't matter what I eat. I'll eat whatever the fuck. You know, that's fucking retarded, and that's a complete irrational way of thinking about it. So instead, utilizing the principle of benefit versus damage. You know, there's certain ways of eating where you can you can pick up a pre-made salad from your local grocery store in the to-go section. You can stop by a restaurant and get a salad or getting or get e even tacos you can eat. You can eat tacos in a way that's not going to cause tremendous damage to your body. Um, where you don't need too many antioxidants to offset that damage. And it can fuel you and it can make you feel a certain way. Even be, you know, even further, you should be eating to, to feel really, really good during the day and not, and to where, to where you're not like consuming the, the worst offenders to your health. I mean, the things that you should really be trying to avoid, you know, to protect your sanity, but also your health would just be Avoiding hydrogenated oils, avoiding sugar, processed sugar of all kinds, uh, keeping your vegetable oil consumption down to a minimum, and eating in a way that makes you feel balanced and helps you perform in whatever it is you do during the day. Because if you don't feel at your best, you're you're hindering your growth and and for your own success. If you, if you don't feel healthy and energetic and you got all these health problems like your hair's falling out and shit, 
Um, you can tell yourself it's the Herxheimer reaction or it's a, a healing crisis all you want. But um, past a certain point, I mean, is it really even worth it? Uh, even if the way you're eating is going to give you an extra 10 years on your life. So preventing chronic disease, you don't have to be eating perfect to prevent chronic disease. You don't have to avoid eggs and avoid animal uh, products altogether to avoid chronic diseases. You don't, okay? There's really, there's no amount of evidence that shows uh, that you have to avoid animal products in order to prevent chronic diseases. This is not a rant against veganism. Um, I think veganism and vegetarianism is an amazing thing, and I myself, uh, at the moment, am, am pescatarian. So, um, and I've been vegan for, for months on end, close to a year almost. Um, I've been vegan on and off. What I'm saying though is, you know, if you're attaching yourself to an ideal, that's dogmatic. That is causing you stress, that's attachment, that's the root of all suffering. That is self-image and ego. And uh, basically the problem with that is you're so attached to the idea of what should be healthy that you're not in touch, in touch and in tune with what your body is telling you, with how you feel. And so the diet's no longer benefiting you. Now if the diet is benefiting you, then keep doing it, obviously. If you're disease free and you feel healthy and you never get sick, keep doing it. But if you get sinus problems, you know, that last more than three days and are very intense, and you get them more than three times a year, you've got a fucking problem in the diet you're consuming and, and whatever else you're consuming is not working for you. Trust me. When I used to not care about my, my diet and I was into, you know, medical drugs and shit, I had, I used to get staph infections that would last months and i need all the surgery and crap from the doctors. I used to get sinus infections constantly um, bronchitis and the flu and all this bullshit. I used to get that all the time. Then when I started to really, really, really learn what a truly healthy diet actually is, and I learned uh, herbalism and natural therapies, uh, if I ever get sick at all, it's because I caught it from uh, somebody else who works around a lot of people. Um, like mainly my girlfriend because she works at, in the hotel business and she's a bartender and she's constantly uh, talking to people up close and getting the germs on her and whatnot. But that's only happened like once a year, if anything. And when that does happen, I give her garlic, raw garlic, chopped up, let sit out for 15 minutes, and I consume that as well. Every single day as much as possible. And um, the, the illness goes away fast for both of us. And she's able to work around sick people with the flu and pneumonia without getting sick because she consumes garlic during that time. Garlic is, is an amazing, amazing uh, medicine, antibiotic, essentially. So just, just practicing basic health, uh, basic health principles, and now I'm, I hardly am ever sick. Um, I could even, even for, for two years, I think, I was eating, I think it was about two years, about, just about, uh, I was eating conventional beef, I was going out to buffets, I was eating in a healthy way, but the quality of my food wasn't so great. I was eating beef, rice, and vegetables, usually broccoli, carrots, and greens, um, but conventional beef and white jasmine rice, because it's the easiest to digest, and I was going out to buffets, and I was eating white rice, chicken, and uh, hidden up the salad bar, but I would eat a lot of it because I was at the buffet, and I would eat sushi constantly when I go to those buffets. Um, but no processed sugar, no, uh, no no chemicals except for anything that might sneak into the buffet food, obviously. Um, no colors, none of that nonsense, no hydrogenated oils. I stayed far away from that. Any of these really, truly detrimental things I stay away from, and I ate in a way that's generally healthy, balanced. And uh, I'd hardly ever fucking, I, I, I only got sick once from my girlfriend during the whole two years of eating that way. Uh, my circulation was fine. I slept well. I felt fine. I felt great. Amazing. Um, and so what I'm saying there is there's levels of health, okay? And um, you don't have to eat completely 
uh, like all organic beef, grass fed organic beef. You don't have to eat ketogenic. You don't have to eat raw vegan. You don't have to eat vegan, vegetarian, etc. Okay. In order to prevent chronic diseases and to be significantly healthier than if you were to eat processed sugar and if you were to eat ice cream, if you were to eat all of this crap. Okay, just avoid the things you know for sure are bad for you and eat as healthy as, as you can. And make sure that you're not using excuses. All right, and you'll be better off. Because the worst thing you can do is say, oh, well, you know, uh, I don't have time to eat healthy. I don't have enough money to eat healthy. And then go out and drink Starbucks and fucking eat vending machine food and, you know, buy a shit ton of chips and diet sodas and regular sodas and um, all this crap at the grocery store and while you're at the job, uh, at your job or whatever, that's the worst thing you can do. You know what I mean? People use excuses. Like, like it's the same thing with smoking. I smoke for 10, 20 years, so, you know, even if I stop smoking, I'm still going to get cancer. Like, that's not true. Smoking just causes oxidative stress to your lungs. And if you quit smoking, you're stopping the oxidative stress. If you consume enough antioxidants for the next couple years and you continue that the rest of your life, you can heal the oxidative stress and cancer will not form. But if you just stop smoking, especially if you're eating like frozen foods and processed foods and whatnot, you're caught, the, the oxidative stress is there. The damage from cigarettes are still there. You're not eating any anti antioxidants, the oxidative stress will not be healed and that's how cancers form in your lungs from smoking, okay? It's a very, very simple idea. The amount of oxidative stress or the amount of damage from um, just from, you know, regular meats, probably more than that of fish and eggs, especially high quality fish and eggs, especially high quality fish and just in general. Um, but it's not nearly as much as smoking it's not nearly as much as um, all processed food, processed sugar, especially since most people eat processed food do not consume enough antioxidants and vegetables. Um, you see, so there's a lot more to it when you look at the bigger picture. You can live a lot easier if you implement this strategy of, um, you know, damage versus um, benefit, okay? So, but beyond that, you know, if you can, if you have enough money and you can, you can meal prep, buy the highest quality food you can and take it to work, you could buy, you could buy, um, uh, you could buy organic greens, you can buy berries, you can buy all sorts of, of delicious raw fruits and vegetables to take to your work, uh, where you don't even need to prep first. And if you, if you're, if you're eating if you're a meat eater, you can buy a rotisserie chicken from the store now. You can buy uh, canned wild caught tuna, uh, canned mackerel. You know. You can you could uh, boil hard boiled eggs, take them to work with you. There's so many things you can you can. There's rice to go now, where you just put it in hot water and it and it and it it cooks. Um, you know, there's so many options. Okay. So my main point here is, you know, eat as, as, as healthy as you possibly can. Make it work, you know? And um, make it work. And eat as much antioxidants as you can. Eat, base your diet on fruits and vegetables. You can take that anywhere. Just go to the store, buy raw fruits and vegetables, and you're set. You don't need to, you don't need to um, let that be a, a, a limiting excuse. So that's, that's not the healthiest, the healthiest thing diet in the world, but it's the healthiest way that most people can live their life realistically. And if you have a health condition that you need to reverse, if you have a health condition that you're dealing with and you're struggling with, you need to be more strict and vigorous with the type of food and the way you eat, okay? You can't implement the same strategy. At that point, you need to completely avoid damage altogether 
and eat nothing but beneficial foods depending on your condition you know if you have heart disease going raw vegan would probably be a great idea it would probably help you a lot but also implement other strategies such as hawthorn berry garlic increasing nitric oxide um, cayenne pepper you know what I mean you can't just do this whole principle I'm talking about it might help you as well but there's no room for leeway with serious disease you don't have a whole lot of wiggle room okay if, it, if your life is on the line take that shit seriously okay unless of course you just want to go to a doctor and get put on drugs and shit which that's your choice so ultimately do your own research and um, follow the diets that you know are best for you there are so many different diets and they all can can work okay they all can be very very effective the most important thing is how great you feel is it compatible with your lifestyle and is it compatible with your goals in life and the things that you're doing uh, and if you have digestive problems it's, it, it, for me at least it I can't eat a whole lot of whole grains right I can't eat beans and things like that because I for some reason shit them, at, shit them right out uh, and I've tried eat, continuously eating small amounts for a long period of time didn't work uh, actually it was just too hard for me to go longer than a week or two doing that because undigested food in my colon seems to make me uh, have insomnia so I just don't eat that I eat as healthy as I can without those things in my diet and I'm fine I'm great I'm amazing uh, lots of raw fruits and vegetables goji berries tonic herbs etc and there's other things you can add to your diet such as tonic herbs such as um, you know amino acids and compounds like acetyl L-choline uh, or sorry acetyl L-carnitine etc they can really really help benefit your 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 way of life and your well-being so leave your, leave your questions and comments down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll talk to you soon